hate. You're about to see why I don't make videos. I'm really bad and awkward and very awkward. Um, I'm trying to be really quiet because my roommate is asleep. And, um, but I wanted to make a response to, well, I was going to make this response a long time ago about doctors. And then I just watched the video that you just uploaded. And I was like, well, I might as well just make it. Anyways, but excuse my extreme awkwardness, and yeah, this is why I don't make videos. <laughs> um, that's my rat. One of my rats. You can hear him. Okay, gosh, it's awkward. Okay, um, so I've had a lot of bad doctor experiences. Um, I'll just tell you a couple of them, because doctors can be so obnoxious, um, especially when they're not trained or have a lot of experience with eating disorders. So, yeah, okay, well, a couple years ago I was having some strange symptoms. I was, um, I would just be going about my day and doing whatever, and then I would throw up. Like, my mouth would start watering and I would get really nauseous and then I would throw up. And then I'd be fine after that. And it didn't matter. Like, I could have just eaten something or I could have an empty stomach. It didn't matter. And so this went on for a few weeks. So I finally went to the doctor. And I, I used to have a really good doctor. And then she moved to Oregon. Thanks a lot. <laughs> and so I was in the process of trying to find a new doctor. And anyways, I went to this older nurse practitioner lady and well first of all I refused to get weighed I was like I'm, I don't want to get weighed and she was like well you have to and I'm not very stubborn so I didn't really put up that much of a fight so I was like fine even though I don't know why it matters <laughs> um no anyway, she spent like the next 15 to 20 minutes lecturing me about it and I was just like okay okay fine and she was just like if you don't want to get weight then don't go to the doctor blah 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 and she said all this stuff and I was just like get on with it so I told her all my symptoms and this is what she does okay we're gonna pretend like this is on the pad she goes okay well I'm going to write you a prescription for a snack and she was extremely patronizing and she didn't listen to anything I said because I told her how much I was eating, which was enough at that time, and, and, like, so I told her again, I was like, it doesn't matter, I could have just eaten, and this happened, and she was like, you just need to eat more, and I was like, <sighs> yeah, extremely obnoxious, and then, okay, another good one. Okay, I had to get my wisdom teeth taken out when I was 20. I think I was 20. 19. 19. I don't care. Anyways. Um, so I went to this oral surgeon and he was talking to me and my dad. So my dad went with me and um, like I filled out on the paperwork that I was bulimic and he said something about how I can't throw up when I have my wisdom teeth out. And I'm like, yeah, okay, duh. And so I can't remember what I said, but he said to my dad, like he was pretending like I wasn't there. He was just talking to my dad and he said, don't believe anything your daughter says. People with eating disorders just lie. That's all they do is lie. And I was sitting there like, are you kidding me? I'm an adult and I'm sitting right here and you're gonna talk that way to my dad right in front of me? And uh, it was just very rude and inappropriate, I thought. Um, I have more, I'm sure, because yeah, I've had a lot, but those are, the two ones that are on the top of my head right now. So, 
I'm gonna go and I like all your videos so um, and sorry about this awkward video and I'm so distracted by Pip and Gatsby but mostly Pip okay